Hey guys, it's Lindsay from the blog Repurpose and Upcycle, and today I want to talk about how to remove paint from wood on this dresser in my kitchen that slides back and sits in my kitchen. And I'm going to use a few different materials, a few of the materials I've heard work really well. The first one is Citrus Strip. This is my favorite paint stripper on the market. I've used it countless times. I have a blog post and a YouTube video about how to use it, uh, especially a little trick to use to get it to work really well. The second one is something that I haven't used. This is uh, oven cleaner. It's called Easy Off, but I have seen a lot of bloggers use it with a lot of success. This is a household item you can uh, use. It's fume free. Second is a white distilled vinegar. I have tried this in the past without a lot of success. I'm going to try it again with a few tips I read online. Now the vinegar isn't going to remove the paint. It should just soften it to allow you to scrape it off. Whereas the paint stripper will actually actually hopefully remove the paint and the easy off I'm assuming it does something similar to the stripper but we're gonna find out the last way I'm gonna share on how to remove paint from wood is a heat gun and now a heat gun is gonna work kind of like the distilled vinegar where it's not really going to remove it, but it's going to soften it enough for you to scrape the paint away. So we're going to try these four methods and I'm going to show you guys which one works the best. The first thing you're going to do is grab gloves and protect your workspace. Uh, none of these strippers or items need to be used outside, so I should be good. You just need to protect the space around it, especially if you're spraying, especially like the, the citrus strip. I don't want to overspray and affect anything. So I put my gloves on so I'm ready to go. We're going to start with the citrus strip and I'm just going to spray a little bit. I'm not going to do the entire area. I'm just going to spray a little bit and see what happens. Now I'm going to use the easy off. One thing with the paint stripper uh, and even the easy off oven spray, you're going to need to make sure you have a pretty heavy coat on there. I don't think I put a heavy enough coat on here. So okay. with the white distilled vinegar, what I'm doing is I heated it in a microwave safe dish for 30 seconds and I'm taking a paper towel and I'm just going to rub it on top. It says to most, most of the articles I read say to leave it for 15 minutes. So I'm going to rub that on there and then I'm going to leave it. See if that will soften the paint off of the wood just like that. It has been a half an hour and I'm going to attempt to scrape some of the paint from where I put the vinegar. Oh wow, it actually is working. Look at that. Not to say I was a naysayer, but I actually thought, well, I, I was a little dubious as to whether it would work or not. But honestly, y'all, that... That is working fairly well. Now, I have to say, the area where it, the vinegar wasn't puddled, it's not pulling up. But the area where the vinegar was puddled, it's actually pulling it up fairly easily. So my takeaway from the vinegar is that it works okay if you can really puddle the vinegar on top. Like over here, over here, I can't get it to budge. Maybe a little. So my takeaway is, I think if you have some paint stains or little paint drips that you need to remove, I think the vinegar would be good for, but I don't know that I would use it to strip a piece of furniture. But if you're looking for an eco-friendly way to just get a little piece of the paint drip up, this might be the answer. So the heat gun, I'm using just a Wagner heat gun and I'm going to use it at the highest temperature I can get. Uh, and I'm also, I have this. So when I feel like it's heating up good, I'm going to start scraping.
Okay, so this would obviously work, but it's gonna take some patience. And honestly, it looks like it's basically just melting the paint. I guess that's the point, which makes it kind of hard to, makes it kind of hard to pull up. You can see it's coming apart just, it's kind of sticky where the old paint is just melting, which you had to expect. If we're gonna heat it up, that's basically what you're doing is you're melting the paint away. So once again, I think this might be a good tool to use sparingly. Like if you have a little paint drip or something, I would use it like I would use the uh, vinegar, but the vinegar doesn't make as much of a mess and I feel like it scrapes more evenly. The oven cleaner actually says to wait an hour and 15 minutes until you scrub. So it has been an hour and 15 minutes and I'm gonna try to scrub this to see how well it works. Now, if you look closely, you can see where it's actually, potentially, the, the paint is starting to bubble. Look guys, I, I just wet this. It's like a, a soft Brillo pad. I wet it with some warm water. Wow, y'all. Look at that. That's impressive. So I am putting some pressure on this and it is just pulling the paint away. I have never used this product before, but I am very impressed. I'm gonna go ahead and take my putty knife. It doesn't work as good. Yeah, so basically if you just scrub it, it's just pulling the paint up. That's huge. See how easy this is? Okay. You can definitely tell the areas where I've saturated it and where I haven't. I did mainly the center area. I am gonna have to go back and spray some more on the sides. It's pulling off of the center really easily, not as much on the sides. So I need to go back and uh, redo another layer of it. But so far I am impressed. Look at all that. So it is the next day. I have let this sit overnight and I'm going to give uh, this a try. Wow. Yeah, that, that is really easy. Look at that. Now that being said, it still has left. It's like it's peeling off the layers one by one and it's like there's still a layer left under there. And maybe I didn't use enough, but I feel like I saturated it pretty well. Wow, look at that. Now the only bad thing about this versus when I used the oven cleaner is, this is kind of messy and I'm gonna need to use like a TSP, uh, mineral spirits, something to really clean it up. Whereas one thing I liked with the oven cleaner was that A, it peeled pretty clean, like it, it peeled the entire thing up in one piece. And also it's an oven cleaner, so it is already cleaning it, I guess. So this, I mean, this has worked fairly well, but it's, I, I think maybe it's gonna require me to spray another level. And I'm going to need to degrease and clean that after I spray another level. I don't know that I mentioned this, but the paint that it's on this dresser, it's a latex paint. It's just a general white water-based latex paint. So would it work differently with oil-based? Maybe. Um, but anyway, my takeaway from all of this is shockingly the easy off worked the best. It created the less mess 
it was the quickest. I only waited an hour and 15 minutes and then I started to scrub and the paint was just coming off. Whereas with the citrus strip, it did do a good job of penetrating the levels of paint, but I feel like ultimately it was gonna require another layer of citrus strip, which would then mean I would need to wait probably another day and it just took longer. Not to mention it was more messy because I was gonna, I, I would end up having to use the TSP or the mineral spirits just to pull all the gunk up because it really did break down the paint. Whereas with the easy off, I feel like it kept the paint together. It just pulled it up from the surface. As far as the vinegar and the heat gun, I would only use those if I was uh, trying to pull up like paint drips or paint splatter. I wouldn't use those to remove paint from an entire piece of furniture or a large piece of wood. I just don't think they're effective for that. But if you're looking for something super eco-friendly that has no chemicals, this would be the way to go if you're worried about that. So overall, shockingly, the oven cleaner worked the best. So guys, I'm going to get off here. I'm going to spray the rest of this with oven cleaner and I'm going to get to work. Thanks for watching guys. I'll see you later.